Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 5th, 2023. Well, yesterday we finally got the bulls to do a little bit, but it's kind of a sputtering start to a relief rally, except for the NASDAQ, and we still have all these uncertainties in front of us. One good news point this morning is we have bond yields a little bit lower. They're starting to ease just a bit. So that may help us continue to rally. But boy, we have some data coming that uh, certainly could um, either inspire those bulls or bears. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buggle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, looking at the diamonds here, we had a nice little relief, but that only after we decided to make a new low here in the chart. I had suggested early yesterday morning that there was a chance that we could still see the Dow push down here. And although we didn't make it all the way down there, we um, decided to um, turn around and get a little bit of relief going here in the market. Here's the problem. We didn't solve anything yesterday. As a matter of fact, if you look across here, we just rallied into this resistance. We tried to pop through, couldn't do it, kind of held right in that area. So if the bears were to find some inspiration today i still think there's a possibility that we could reach down here um, we'll want to watch that pretty closely over the next couple of days and i think friday would probably be the day that we'd really get that um, a, a number that could move us significantly so we'll watch for that now this morning, if the bulls can continue to find inspiration, and you can see we've got just a little bit of bearishness in here, and of course we were lower overnight. You can see just not that long ago, we were down here at the bottom of that um, candle right there. And we're trying to push up here in the pre-market to get a little bit going uh, this morning, but unfortunately not showing a lot of confidence here just yet. So um, if the bulls can get going, I want to see them break, confidently break this area here and hold above this price support and then maybe start working its way up to test the high of this candle and working up into this next level of the diamonds. But oh, we've got a lot of work to do. If we take a look at our technicals here in the chart, we're still well below our 500 day moving average our 200 day moving average and as a matter of fact we're still um, below our eight exponential moving average so it, it may be a beginning of a relief rally but boy it's a sputtering start um, a lot of a lot of whipsaws yesterday on that intraday candle trying to get it done the surge the real surge came right in the last few minutes of the day trying to pick us up and gain a little confidence here overall. If we were to take a look at our SPY, SPY, well, also um, sputtered just a little bit on the day, but the good news here on the SPY is you'll notice when we did turn back down, we tested, but you'll notice that we didn't quite make a new low. So this is better here on the SPY technically where we held that um, just a little bit of tiny higher low. You can almost call that a tweezer bottom. And um, an inside candle day, which I know everyone would have probably liked to have seen a bullish um, engulfing day, but it wasn't quite enough there. And we still have this substantial resistance above that we need to breach to get out of that area so we've got this downtrend here in play and we've got that resistance area in play if the bulls are going to get something done we're going to have to press up here test that and break through um, we're going to need some positive data i think maybe to to get that going so watch that carefully we could also find this area right in here as price resistance and then reverse from there 
pushing right back down, kind of like we did right here on this uh, one day move in the SPY. So watch carefully for that possibility. If the bears uh, were to find inspiration here, I mentioned this yesterday, I've been mentioning the last few days, that there was a really good chance that the SPY tests the 200 day moving average. And notice we've got a 200 and 500 day moving average right here together. I still think that is a possibility. We're still underneath our eight exponential moving averages uh, and our longer term averages are moving down pretty sharply. So watch that closely. If the bears find inspiration, I still think tagging that 200 day moving average has a possibility. May not be today, but it, it'll, you know, I think it'll really depend on how they react to the employment situation number on Friday. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ also, um, the strongest of the indexes and remains the strongest of the indexes as of yesterday. Um, it, um, open nicely, barely had any reaction lower where the rest of the indexes were reacting lower and had a very bullish move here to the upside. Unfortunately, it was mostly laid into by the, the what they call the Magnificent Seven nowadays. Um, that's where um, most of that energy came in. And honestly, if you look at a lot of the Magnificent Seven charts, so, uh, <laughs> they're not really in a buy point. But um, if you take a look at the technicals here in this chart, this is by far the most bullish. We broke through some resistance levels. We held that August low, looking pretty good there. If you take a look, we're testing this downtrend here to see whether or not we can break out. So if the bulls can continue to find inspiration today to push up, let's start looking for some of these levels across, maybe across here, and then pushing right on up into that next major resistance out area of the chart. Now, keeping in mind, if you take a look at the QQQ, we're still below, well below our 50 day moving average. And as we push up in here, we're likely going to be running into these price resistance areas and a little bit of technical resistance right there around the 34 EMA if we can push through that low here in the chart. Then let's take a look at our IWM. Boy, IWM, it went on down and came really close to testing this level yesterday that I suggested we might go to. Really, really close, just air kissed it and bounced. Nice little hammer pattern here on the day. Remember, hammers require a follow through. And remember, we're kind of stuck here in the middle of, of a range here. This is a fairly significant resistance, price resistance area in the chart. So watch that closely. If the bulls can find inspiration and follow through, we need to see them test that. And if they can break through that area, well, notice we've got a little bit of a gap right in here that we might be able to press right up into there and then start working on this downtrend in that bigger resistance area of the chart. And so watch that one closely here. If the bears find inspiration, we're unable to get back up through some of these levels, then watch Friday for that possibility. Um, we either find uh, some good bullish inspiration in that uh, number on Friday, or it could really turn bearish. And the reason I say that is just um, how big of a change there was in the ADP number here um, yesterday. If that plays into the um, employment situation number, it really could inspire the bears. So. Um, yeah, watch that close. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX powered up yesterday and went a little bit higher. Notice we went above 20 and a half here um, in um, the VIX, pushing up into this next level of price resistance in the chart. I'm just going to take this line and slide it right up there. There's that next little resistance area in the chart. And then we reversed back down as the bulls came in and tried to recover. We still have that complication here, though, that we broke that um, downtrend. We held the higher low and we are still pushing higher. But if we can come back and rest, 
hold this area of the chart, the bears may still have that opportunity to push higher with a little bit of fear if they can hold another higher low here in the chart. Keeping in mind, if the bulls can push this on down, if we can find enough bullish data to push this on down and ease some of that uncertainty, well, maybe we can kind of uh, get that relief rally um, um, off, you know, off a top dead center and, and get a little bit of movement in that chart or in the charts. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Our T2122 um, obviously still indicating a very um, oversold condition. Yesterday we were down here buried um, at the bottom, but notice we didn't come up all that much yesterday. So what you can kind of glean from this, remember this is the four week new high, new low ratio. So we barely budged this indicator here yesterday. Um, so that's why I say it was just kind of a sputtering start to a relief rally. We're gonna need some energy to follow through here if we can um, on, on that measure. So watching that closely, if the bulls can find inspiration, we've certainly got plenty of upside opportunity. If they can get some momentum here in the market, we're just lacking that right now. And then keeping in mind, um, every time we get these little tiny rallies, it opens up that opportunity that the bears could re-engage a little bit and push on lower. So um, I don't think we have that much lower to go, but um, I pointed out some of those areas that we still could test in the charts and we have to uh, look at these charts and realize that that is still a possibility. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108, as you can see, the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average moved up a little bit, giving us that tiny little bit of hope. But I got to tell you, it just wasn't enough to uh, be really inspiring here. Um, we just kind of uh, sputtered along here yesterday and really didn't gain any energy. About 17% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average. Certainly a very bearish condition, uh, meaning that we should get a relief rally at any time that should have some, have some energy to it that you'd think. But um, unfortunately, we're still not seeing that here in our T2108. If we take a look at uh, T2107, the percentage of stocks above the 200-day moving average, completely unimpressed yesterday, um, uh, flat and actually just a little teeny tiny bit lower, 32, um, not quite 33% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. So when I say sputtering, I, I mean it. It just really didn't garner much energy except for the seven tech giants that move the move all three indexes, the Diamond Spy and QQQ. Um, um, it, it, it certainly doesn't have any influence over the um, small cap sector and they are just not all that impressed. Um, let's take a look at our T2101. Here's our problem here with T2101 is that when we saw the bulls coming in, we actually saw breadth pull back. Um, early in the day, we were stretching this higher um, on the selling coming in. And then as the bulls stepped in, the breadth declined. Uh, pulling this back. So we're really, at this point, we're not seeing that momentum or energy kicking to the bull side just yet. We want to see that. I want to see that. I want to see more of a relief rally to set up better short trades if we're going to continue to fail. But right now, it's just not showing us that energy here. So be kind of careful thinking that, you know, the all clear has been sounded because I don't think that is the case. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Now, our economic calendar, we've got a few things that could move us here this morning. First, we're going to get numbers from international trade in goods. We'll want to watch that closely. International trade has been a little bit of a problem for us here in the market, um, continues to plague us. 
um, as these trade numbers um, continue to falter here a little bit and we see that weakening consumer. Um, next up, probably the more important number here today is going to be that jobless claims number. What we have seen here in jobless claims has not been um, in the favor of the, uh, the Fed. The Fed wants to see those numbers coming up and they just have been stubbornly strong if these suddenly get a big change, I wouldn't be too surprised by that. I'm not exactly sure how the market will react to it because uh, honestly, if we saw a big number here, obviously that's bearish for our economy, but that is um, what the Fed wants to see. So I'm not really sure, you know, it'd be um, <laughs> bad news is good news for the Fed, but if it comes in as a very bad number, that could also bring the, the bears out and continue their attack. So watch this here closely. This could be an important number today and likely the most market moving. And then we're gonna have Mester speaking. We've got a natural gas report. We've got Barkin speaking here. Um, um, a little bit later in the morning, we're gonna have some bond auctions, a three and eight month bond auction. We've got daily and bar. Uh, speaking this afternoon. So keep an eye on that and then the Fed balance sheet um, uh, later in the day. And this is all going to culminate in this number here tomorrow. The numbers that we've been seeing um, this week on the employment side of things, we are starting to see that weakening in the um, employment. It'll be interesting to see how this employment situation number comes in. What kind of strength we start to, to see there um, could be really interesting. If it's really strong, that could be bearish for the market. If it's really weak, could be bearish for the market. So watch that carefully here tomorrow. Uh, who knows how we're going to react and what those numbers are actually going to be. Let's take a look at um, see some, uh, or excuse me, our earnings calendar here for today. Fortunately, our earnings calendar, we've got a, a, a few notables, but nothing that's likely to really move the market today. First off, um, ConAgra on the list. Keep an eye on that. This has obviously been very bearish um, heading into its earnings report. I mean, that's just a parabolic collapse. So um, maybe a, a good earnings report can kind of spark some life into this. We'll see. We've got um, uh, LW uh, reporting today. So another defensive sector type stock. Um, also very, very bearish right now, breaking down a big head and shoulders pattern here in the chart that may have to complete. So this could be an, uh, an important earnings report to be watching. Uh, Constellation Brands. Constellation Brands broke its trend, moving to the downside. You can see trying to do a little pop and drop here in the pre-market watch that one closely here today and last but not least is Levi Strauss a consumer um, based stock that obviously consumers don't seem to be too happy right now with Levi Strauss um, this could be very very important to determine whether or not we're going to break that downtrend here and start making some moves to the upside or that possibility that we could break on lower and breaking support in the chart. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube, also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy of support, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. Um, thank you so much to everyone who does do that. Remember, it doesn't have to be any long statement, but just an emoji um, uh, counts as engagement with the channel. And thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. It makes a world of difference and um, you guys are truly, truly awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. Remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. 
you know, particularly now, there's so much uncertainty in the market. It's really difficult for you to look at these um, charts with any kind of major certainty of, that this is going to occur because the market itself doesn't seem to quite know what direction it wants to go. Remember, we're, we're now approaching about a week to earnings. And with all of that uncertainty alone, we could just be lethargic and resting for the next week waiting for the beginning of earnings season. So just, just keep in mind, we've got a lot of things on our plate here and that the market is trying to figure out. So any trade, make sure you're following your trading rules and make sure you understand the risk of those trades because the volatility of the market is pretty substantial right now. Let's take a look at a couple of these. I mentioned um, yesterday WDC and WDC is still holding in this beautiful upside trend. It's been building this little wedging pattern here, um, trying to make that decision whether or not it's got enough energy to pop on through. And I think there is a chance the way this bull um, um, uh, pushed in here yesterday that opportunity for that higher low and that chance that we can pop through this major resistance area in WDC. So if it can get through there and hold above that area, boy, I think there's more upside that would be coming if we can push on through on WDC. That's worth keeping an eye on. Watch that close. Take a look at Rivian. Rivian, um, <laughs> been very volatile here, um, dropped below some some support i thought it might go right in here to the upside but got really volatile with the volatility of the market pushed down but has recovered and then we pulled back pretty strongly and boy yesterday look at those bulls really pushing in here showing a lot of um, energy in that chart keep a close eye on that if that can hold this higher low in here there's, there just might be that opportunity that can push on higher. So watch that carefully in Rivian, still looking pretty good. Um, I ran across um, this stock yesterday, Road, uh, Road Construction Partners, beautiful move yesterday, really, really strong, holding um, in this upside trend and then just popped out and ran hard. Now, I wouldn't wanna chase that move right here um, because that puts a lot of risk on your stop loss but if this would rest or pull back or consolidate here a little bit that might be um, a stock to be keeping an eye on um, watching that one closely um, take a look at um, some of these um, big dividend payers um, like AT&T it has been falling with this market, but you'll notice it just really hasn't been falling precipitously. Um, we've got a downtrend here and that possibility that this could fail. But I still want to keep an eye on these because I think there might be just a little bit of that uh, protection mode coming into the market where they might push back up and continue to the upside. And the reason that is, is everyone's just looking for some safety right now. And this has a great uh, forward dividend yield. Um, keep an eye on that. There may be some opportunities there in charts like that. You know, when we look into things like retail, we've got uh, Walmart here trying to push back up and recover in that chart. Um, this held such a beautiful upside trend for so long, but kind of failed along that uh, this line right in here. Now we're rallying back into this area of resistance. I would watch this closely. There is a, a, a reasonable um, chance that this could uh, fail in this area and move on down. So there may be a potential short there to be watching for as we continue to see those consumers weaken um, overall. A um, couple other places in the tech sector, um, obviously Google doing well, despite the fact that they're in the middle of an antitrust lawsuit with the SEC at the federal government level. Um, they pushed right up here nicely yesterday breaking back through this resistance in the chart. So a rest or pullback in here sets up that next opportunity to the upside. If we can make that higher low, 
and I would look for more upside and Nvidia did a good job yesterday as well uh, broke back through this resistance in the chart we've rested a few days along here trying to hold so look for that opportunity in Nvidia however um, as, as good as those are you know when we look at stocks like Microsoft nice little rally back yesterday but there's nothing in here that's bullish yet still in a downtrend still that possibility we could rally into some of these resistance areas of the chart and continue to show failure so uh, it's a mix of a mix of things in the big tech sector um, so we're going to have to be really careful there so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading don't be too surprised if we end up just kind of spinning around and choppy um, in the market today i know there's a lot of hope for a relief rally but um, we've got so many things ahead of us like that employment situation number we've got the beginning of earnings coming up next week we've got this uncertainty in congress and the next pending um, um, uh, uh, government shutdown there's just a lot of turbulence here not to mention the geopolitical things the issues going on in china in europe um, with their economies there's a lot for the market to um, to overcome so we're going to have to be just a little bit careful and cautious and be willing to be patient remember wait for the right trade wait, wait for the good trade don't just trade out of boredom don't just trade because um, you um, just can't stand setting and waiting um, sometimes one of the best things that you can do as a trader is protect your capital this might be one of those times so um, just think about that uh, carefully I know it's frustrating I know you, you, we hate to wait um, we're all impatient I get that but protect that capital that's one of the primary roles of the trader everyone take care We'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning, and I wish you all the very, very best.